Stop that laughing! Remember what happened to your hyena cousins? So, I forget what the puzzle is in uh, Waterworld here. Oh, uh, no. I'm just gonna scoot. I'm scooting. Baby monsters. Never trust a baby monster. <laughs> Gosh, I've done that in real life. Actually, related to our previous conversation, don't point at me. It's rude. Ow, slaps. Um. Related to our previous conversation, if that person whom can't take a hint is in the room, sometimes they'll just be like, Oh, they're here! Um, alright, um, see ya! Oh, wow, this is good. You do take a long time to swing you the axe. You know, I'd ask him to hurry it up, but... I don't want to be rude. Yes, uh, during, during the fully charged axe swing, you do get iframes. Which is why it's the best weapon in the game. Don't hit Eileen. Nice. Axe sniper. Sometimes you gotta cut right through that BS, indeed. Hi, Amaru! I've been calling them fungus. Because they, like, they grow real tall and they got bulby heads. But really, like, they could be a lot of things. Ha ha ha! Uh, you got messed up! Get out of here. Oh no. Flormies. S sniper axe, yes. Um, hmm. <laughs> she does, you know, I gotta hand it to Eileen. She's trying her best. They remind me of uh, enoki mushrooms, which are super tall and they just like have the tiniest, tiniest little, what do you call the head of the mushroom? I guess the head. Tiniest little heads. So actually, they're eaten more for the stalk than for, for the cap. Oh, thank you, cap. Excuse me, while I want snacks on my axe. Alright, you should be running into a particular... A very particular enemy right away. Let's see if I can deal with him promptly. Oh! Oh, alright then. <clears throat> Lost in Vivo? Oh, so that's not like a, a TV streaming service? <laughs> oh, oh shit, Nyx. That's bad. Okay, listen. It's been, it's been a lovely visit. Thank you. Thank you for your company. But 
I need you to go home. Here, have a candle. Take this candle as a gift. Whenever you light it, remember me. Did I... Oh no. Okay, he's going home. We've successfully shooed the neighbor away. <laughs> it's a scented candle. <laughs> we've got meowing, we've got baby noises. Maybe these are the sounds that people hear from Henry's apartment. They're just like, what's going on? Oh, yeah, they did leave a big mess behind, but you know what? I'm just... At this point, I'm just glad that they're not asking for a cup of sugar. I'm going to summarize everything that I've learned about Walter Sullivan so far. He was born right here in room 302 of South Ashfield Heights. His parents abandoned him soon afterwards and disappeared somewhere, leaving the baby alone. He was discovered and sent to St. Jerome's Hospital. He was adopted by Wish House an orphanage in the forest near Silent Hill that's run by the secret Silent Hill religious cult. When he was six years old, someone from the cult showed them where he was born. Since then, he started to believe that room 302 itself, in other words, this room, was his mother. Every week, he traveled from the orphanage to South Ashfield Heights. Pretty long trip for a kid his age. Sometimes he took a subway, sometimes the bus. I'm tired. My headache is already killing me. I'll write more tomorrow. Oh, that's a mood. Lots of air quotes. The meowing leeches! Oh, f oh my gosh. Dimension was such a... Such a crap game. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything interesting in here. Just the accusatory rabbit. Ha! <laughs> That's it, Triborski. You got it. You see anything out the window? Oh, Mike's, uh... Or no, not Mike. Whoever the music music friend is, is friend in his music. Real friendly-like. Yeah, nothing new going on out the window. Excuse me, babies. Can I get... Actually, do I need anything? No, I think I'm set. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Senju. <laughs> um, not great, you know, I actually stopped playing. Wow. Um, a few months after Burning Crusade came out, I actually came back for Burning Crusade and then, and then I was done. So unfortunately, we're never gonna finish World of Warcraft. That was the that was the dumbest April Fool's joke I ever did. Possibly the only one, too. <laughs> Thank you for remembering. And also, why? <laughs> Henry, don't. Okay. Who do you want to fight? <laughs> yeah, go for the moth. Oh my golly goodness. Heck and beans. Oh, the beans there. The beans are just right. Apparently. Oh, okay. Hey, Eileen. Make friends. I'm sorry, they're not a very good friend, are they? Well, are you gonna make friends or what? If not, you better hurry up. <laughs> this, this right here is a prime example of what we call a video game.
You want to take that candle? Yeah. Could this be that Silent Hill cult? The place where they kept all those kids locked up? I think... Wow, that key jangling was aptly timed. Aw, I was... Yeah, I was kind of a dick. Uh, I'm sorry if I was an asshole to you. For what it's worth, you weren't the only person. <laughs> I'm glad you- I'm glad you enjoyed the reply, at least. Okay. I'm still a bit of an asshole, but I'm trying. Don't slap, Eileen. Alright. You! I want you to just chill here with these slugs. Just for a little bit, okay? I'm gonna be back. No, don't, 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 don't follow me, don't, no, I just need, no, 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 no. Hi. You don't, you don't just slap me and run away. Don't you hate when you like trying to swat a bug and you end up smacking someone in the face? I've legitimately done that and I felt so terrible. Oh, actually, related thing. The funniest accidental hitting of a person I did was, um, I was in high school and we were doing that Terry Fox run. Um, I was just walking because I'm lazy. So... I can't say that on stream, Senjin, but thank you. Are you fucking sorry? Oh my... When you smack someone, and you get... And you... You fucking get, are you okay, and I'm sorry, <laughs> mixed up, so you just, you just shout at them, are you fucking sorry? <laughs> Y'all, I'm sweating. I'm turning red. Oh, shit. <laughs> are you fucking sorry? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, what was I talking about? The Terry Fox run. <laughs> oh, I don't have a hair in my mouth. Okay. So what happened was, it was a windy day, and for, uh, for whatever reason, doesn't matter why, I threw my glove. And the, the wind picked it up, carried it, like, 20 feet, so that... It smacked the kid in head of me in the back of the head. I just just casually tossed my glove and it flew of its own accord to smack someone in the head. And then the only time I ran that day was I was running to grab my glove and saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it was an accident. <laughs> 20, 20 paces, motherfucker. Leather gloves at 20 paces. Oh. Oh, I'd never believe it if it didn't happen to me. We got... Oh, there's a real party going on here. Hmm. Oh, are you feeling those video games yet? I'm feeling those video games yet. <laughs> Wee! Russia, 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 Russia. What you looking at, Emerald?
Oh, 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 right. Wow, cool. That, everything turned out okay. Eileen, don't follow me. Girl, what you doing? Girl, please. Forget it. She does sound possessed. I have been like leaving her alone. Because I don't want her to get hit. Everyone wants to do a hit on Eileen except me. Oh, do you want some fisherman's friend, Val? They're my favorite throat lozenge. Uh, yeah, I tried to leave her in the whole room, but she ended up coming on the staircase, and now, now she's hanging out with Walter, and she's just a real bad influence. And Walter's a troubled boy. I think Eileen. I don't. I don't think he's. Eh, anyway. Blah, blah, blah. She's falling in with a bad crowd. Yeah. Ah, the shirt. Something written in wax. What are you doing here? No! Eileen, ah. I told you. Just smoke your drugs at home. It's so much safer. And I'll be there if you're if you're having a bad trip. I'll I'll calm you down. Oh, injecting the cigarettes. That's the worst. I forget, do I even want to go up here? Maybe there's prizes. <laughs> injecting cigarettes, chat. My goodness. Florms. Flormies. Um, I guess there were no... Oh! That's actually a decent weapon for Eileen, but... Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is that... Those are the bullets I don't want. No! Oh, why did I do... No! Hey, do you remember in the Let's Play when I accidentally used a med kit and I lost it and I almost restarted? <laughs> Same feel. Same feel here. Alright. Gosh, hun. Hun, you got red on you. Hun. Okay, so well, I mean I'm going for the for the bad ending anyway. <laughs> She's not doing well. Can I just get you to chill with the slugs, please? I've got to fight a ghost. And, oh. Okay. You get to help me fight a ghost. Donk. Hey, welcome. 
welcome back, Bun. I should take her to the room where I accidentally placed the candle. Henry? Hey, hey buddy, do you want to attack the enemy that's right beside you? There we go. It should be this room. No, oh, candle's gone. It's, uh, it's a pain to get the good ending, yeah. Like, one of the tricks is immediately before the final fight, or I guess when you last have Eileen in your party, um, you gotta just, like, surround her with candles and, you know, put on some relaxing music and set up a foot bath and just let her chill out. And also take care of the hauntings in your apartment. That hasn't worked for you, huh? Okay, to be fair, I don't know if I've done this myself or just read about it. Where's, uh, where's Andrew DeSalvo? I thought he was gonna be here to be a real annoying boy. He's gonna do the sonic spin attack. Hmm. If that doesn't work, then that's a shame, but it kinda goes along with the rest of this game, which is a shame. Oh hey, look who it is! It's the old the sheathed worm. Wake up. Oh, those sheathed worms, though. I'm gonna get banned on YouTube. Um... Yes! Uh, you, you get access to the Discord? Uh, for donating to Patreon. I do post teaser updates there sometimes. Like, there's a link to the uh, song I commissioned. Uh, I'm trying to do more with it, but... It's also difficult to, like... Manage, um... Because I have Twitch subscribers and I have Patreon, and... I feel like Twitch subscribers should get... Like the same stuff that patrons do, but it's it's hard to manage that. You do get blessed by Minmo. Fridge cat, still there. Uh, so yeah, some some early previews. Yeah. Well, I've got to redo roles in Discord, too, because um, for a while I was giving everyone the the Discord role, and now, like, I kind of don't want to just drop that. There's some level of integration across platforms, but not enough, so it gets confusing. Reroll the roles. Uh, which one gets the most? That's a tough question. I guess it'd be Twitch subscribers because you get the Minmo emote in Twitch chat. Okay, my room is on the second floor and I had to drink something with black thingy in it. I had the sword under the triangle handle under my bed. That guy, the fat one, took the basement key. Next time I'll stick this triangle sword into that pig and take that key. That's exactly what you need to do to play the video game. And like, I'm, 
I'm working to bring a bit more parity between between the things. It's just what black? Probably the slugs. White noise. If I had to guess, like I don't know, it's some kind of initiation or mind control thing. The slugs. Or that's what I'm rolling with. See, so yeah, I'm working on on adding new things. Crowns that got past the filter. Uh, I just don't have a lot of time lately. I'm also trying to figure out disability because I'm I don't expect to make enough to live off of on Patreon and Twitch. Just like some kind of supplemental income. So I also have to figure out how I'm going to uh, survive my life. Just bonk it, Henry. Bonk it with the axe. Oh no, don't do that. Aish? Um, uh, <clears throat> honestly, I don't know exactly what I'm going for because I, I hear different things. Like, everybody's got a different idea. Oh, I got a note. This is <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna shut up, but I will take your money. Thank you. Uh, I'm in Manitoba. I must return to the Wellspring of Sin. So, like, there's EIA disability and CPP disability, and I don't... I gotta figure out what's going on with that, but I'm currently... Oh, your leg. I might be able to get a little more, um, employment insurance sickness benefits from the job that I had. Right? I've met, like, one or two other Winnipeggers online, and... It's not common. Everybody's in Ontario or BC. Like all, all the trans film stars are in Ontario. That's true. Val is Albertan. So here's Andrew. <laughs> The rare Albertan bun. Val Burton. Ooh, the Brunswick. Actually, I have a friend who um, who was born in PEI and uh, moved to Manitoba. So we gotta we gotta play a game with Andrew here. A game called. Uh, Pin the sword in the ghost, and the reward is a key. Why are these still here? Oh, if I leave Eileen behind, she's not gonna do good things. <laughs> you know, for Andrew, I think death is the best thing that's ever happened to him. Oh, is that him? There we go, there's that sonic spin attack. Hey, buddy. I got a reward for you. It's... He had invincibility frames. Oh, fuck that. Silver bullet goes to waste. God, that's the worst. That is nonsense bullshit, and I hate this game. Is he down? No. Yeah, that is a real big oh no. And the fun thing about ghosts is they take so much damage to knock down when it's not a silver bullet. Hey, dude, could you be less of a dick? Oh, where's he gone? He's gone and floated up now. Oh, hey, <laughs> you got me got me and I'm gonna die. God. Oh, that 
wasted silver bullet is the fucking worst. I'm gonna hit Eileen. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, Henry. Um, yeah, so... That's exactly what that was, Senjin. You, like... I did do painting. Mostly it was, like, um... Various construction and demolition. I installed hardwood floors for a few years. Um, I got a power engineering certificate, which is kind of various maintenance, including uh, boilers, heating, steam boilers. Y'all, I hate this video game. Fall down! What a foot of light, lady! Honestly, I don't know if I even can knock him down. He's probably regenerating health too fast between swings. And then he just goes and uh, flies. He flies away when he's injured. Kind of becomes impossible to actually fight. If if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna die. So I get my silver bullet back. Yeah, I was trying to use the sword while he was uh, curled up in a ball there, but it didn't it didn't do it anything. I mean, considering how finicky it is, I might have just been a little bit off. So this... This is a video game. There was a team of people who uh, designed this, and then developed it, and um, probably, like, obviously the dev team has to do a bit of testing, but... Then there's also the QA team. <laughs> I really dig Henry's little walkie here. <laughs> Look at his legs go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> going for, we're going for a stroll, friends. Yeehaw. <laughs> Alrighty, <he's> sicker. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. All right. So, so I was saying all that, and like, I'm. I don't mean to say that, like, the devs are bad or awful or anything. I get the sense this game was not given enough time in the oven, and it came out a little raw, a little undercooked. Like, um, there's still soft spots in the dough, and, and like, the filling's only half congealed, so, like, you get, you get bits where it spills out. I don't like it. I don't like this part. Oh, just like the, uh, who did the Foley work on the Hasbin Hotel, um, pilot episode. They just needed to reel it in a little bit. Fucking murked. I got Sonic the Hedgehog. Game Rover. What do you do? I can move the loading screen around. So that's something. Okay. I'm ready for another attempt. Oh god, Street Fighter. It has been... 
It has been a life and a half since Street Fighter. Since I played Street Fighter. Oh gosh! So we've got we've got Blanca's roll attack, and then we've got uh, the electricity from Richard. Don't go too fast. Don't go too slow. Making friends everywhere you go. Okay, so I have to be careful. I gotta watch this boy's animations and make sure he's not in the middle of doing a fancy move. You see, <clears throat> so this is actually, this is a stage play. It's not really happening. They're just very convincing actors putting on a performance for us. And the thing is with Andrew, he's, he's a bit tough to work with. If he's doing a flourish and you try and move the story along, he's just gonna ignore your cue. And then and then you gotta like you gotta improv to kinda diffuse the situation, but then you know he's just gonna he's gonna hold it against you and he's gonna try and be more of a nuisance. So it's really important to just play along. Let him do his thing, and then we can get the key. Should I take the sword back? Does Andrew show up later? Should I just take the sword and use it on someone else? Okay. <laughs> Last sword is an apartment world. Is that a is that a yeah I should take it or yeah he comes back? Um so I do I do kinda wanna move on from Silent Hill. I've played Origins before. I don't wanna play that game again. I might I might try out Shattered Memories, because I have not played it. Oh, but Oh, the running sections are so bad. I've watched... I've watched uh, the Game Grumps play Shattered Memories, which I think is like the best way to experience that game, because Dan gets so freaked out, and he sets off Aaron too. So they, they do a real good show of it. But, um... What am I trying to say? I can't imagine playing the running sections in that game. I would... I would have a look on my face the whole time, just like... Uh, all the scares are telegraphed. Oh, I believe it. I, I do believe it. I do, I do. Oh no, it's this room. This is a bad room. They did a bad job in this room. It's the disappointed army. You're doing so good. I believe in you. Okay, chat, don't tell Eileen, but I think she's not doing so good. I think she's having a real hard time. I'm right to be worried, right? I, I'm not just imagining this? Let me know. Oh, wow. Um. I wonder what could be down there. 
That is vaguely erotic. <laughs> Believe in Cobb. Um, okay, let's restock supplies. What are we on to next? Is it building world? I think it's building then apartment, yeah? I do appreciate the room's weird perspective and how... Oh, we got cracks. Oh, the drywall's cracking again. Um, the first time you go in that room, in your first run through, it's... The door is impossibly huge, like you're the tiniest child, and you can't reach the knob. And then when you come back, the perspective switched, and the door is, like, slightly smaller than regular sized. <laughs> Temporal Distortion, Richard Braintree. Is that his album? Oh no, I don't have any sliver bullets. I used up my only sliver bullet. We might have to, uh... Maybe I can use Richard's revolver against him. Aww, that's adorable. Cats are the best. I'm gonna do a save here. So we just got through a real nuisance of a world. Below water prison world. Meow. Kitty. The kitty wants a pet too, but mm, I can't pet the kitty in this game. Yeah. Oh, it is. It is so much fun. Um, and I'm I'm actually going to do the puzzle this time. I'm not going to do the speeder and technique. Whoa. Oh, for a second, Henry looked real bro real, real bruddy there. He's alright. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. So yeah, I'm gonna do this bad puzzle. <laughs> Cause I don't know, what is time? Time is merely how we perceive it. The Oh no, that's no there are there are actual ways to measure time, I guess. The decay of atoms is a pretty good one. That makes it a little less arbitrary. <gasps> Fuseli pasta, we're gonna order in tonight. I like he has the same entrance as, um, as the first time you meet him. Falling off a building. It's a diary. I want to go back to that time. Things were so good then. The day of my birthday. The cute cat in the pet store. All those balls in the basket. Playing pool was fun too. The door of time was wide open. When I see four things, I can't help but remember that time. Here's the zappy boy. Richard's got some good beats. Yeah, I could totally see him having an album. Have you seen his moves? Whoa, 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 watch out. I know we're all excited to be here. Nope. 
That's me. Are you kidding me? Please. Are you seeing this? God. I'm starting to think there's absolutely zero point to ever trying to fight a ghost without a silver bullet. I think there is one way to fight a ghost, and that's a silver bullet. And anything else, you are just wasting all of your time and supplies. Hi, Charu version 2. Hope the upgrade was smooth. there. Oh. I'm fine with them being tough, but if you want me to ever use the dang sword, you can't make it impossible to knock them down with anything except a very rare item you get one of at a time. And if you happen to hit at the wrong point in their animation, um, it just, uh, it just doesn't count. You just do a total no-sell of the silver bullet. Okay, so it's technically not impossible. Technically. Oh, that's a mood, Henry. What was I talking about? I can't remember now. My brain has reset since I defeated Richard. Um, let's see. There are three buttons. Forget it. I think we're in the middle button. Okay. Oh, the shovel! Oh, Chevelle. I've never... I don't think I've heard of Chevelle. I wonder if I can still get the shovel. Alright, here we are. Oh, there's two clubs. They will not be joining my club, though. 
candles. But it's not my birthday. Ah, now this is the kind of candle I want. The baby ball. Gotta find the baby ball and put it in the baby basket. Is this, um... Gosh, I don't know my way around this game at all. Like, am I going towards where I need to have solved the puzzle already? He's a pushy boy. Oh. oh, Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Ow. Hey, no, that's my heart. You can't have it. Candles on the birthday cake, and they just automatically catch on fire. How helpful. Wait. It's a spider's web. This is the spider's fridge now. This is the spider's kitchen. They're having a bake sale. Won't you contribute to the spider's bake sale? would be a fair trade-off. If they were a little less immortal, it would be better. I think it'd be a lot better. Or if they, like, took a while to come back instead of just doing that thing they do. actually stream myself playing Undertale because for one I'm actually very bad at that game for two there's a ton of voicing to be done um and I kind of want to like Gemma and I were talking about maybe I like joined her playing it the first time and we stream that That'll have to be when we're in physical proximity to each other. Which right, we've gotta we've gotta discuss a potential visit. Yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun to to be with you your first time through that game. It's such a good game. Oh no. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can't catch me, I'm too fast. Oh, doggone it. My leg hurts. My leg! You could use a, a golf club as a crutch. Maybe? Okay, so there's no reason to come up here except golf club. Golf gub. Oh gosh, I might have to take a really short break here because I've been drinking coffee and water. 
Y'all know what that means. So I'm going to take a short little break here, refill my various needs, and yeah, I'm going to do a pee. So I'll be back. Y'all get some water too. And then we will, whew, we're going to keep on going. 